Hello everybody and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Marvel Wars Movie Moment. Today I am going to talk about one of the coolest villains in Disney history. This villain is found at the end of Fantasia in the 1940s rather bizarre movie where it paired symphonic beautiful music to animation. It's broken up into eight different movements and today we are going to be discussing the final movement of the movie Night on Bald Mountain where we essentially see Satan raise the dead from their graves to dance for his amusement before they are all driven away by the sound of bells and Ave Maria. That's basically what the scene is. Except this isn't technically Satan. It's basically Satan, but it's not technically Satan. This dude's name is Chernabog, and he is a Slavic deity who is the equivalent of Satan. First off, Chernabog is a freaking radical name for this dude, okay? But he is the coolest villain ever to come out of Disney. He's technically not a Disney villain because he is a deity of an actual religion, but look at this guy, okay? Compare him to, like, every other Disney villain out there. Scar, Ursula, even Maleficent pales in comparison to Chernabog's might. I mean, he is the coolest OG badass mother trucker to ever come out of Disney. Chernabog is top tier. When I saw this the first time, this scene scared the shit out of me. Because it's, it's kind of scary for a kid. For a kid? Oh my god, don't even, don't even show your kids this. This this will screw them up. And that's, like, surprising considering that this movie is over 70 years old at this point. This came out in 1940. Like, on the nose, 1940. It is still one of my all-time favorite moments to come out of Disney. Because it is so cool. It is. It's really cool. Like, the whole movie, it's filled with some... Pretty alright stuff. I mean, we've got fairies putting dew on flowers. You've got the creation of life. You've got a hippo dancing. You've got Mickey enchanting broomsticks to carry water because he's too lazy to do it himself. And then it ends with fucking Chernabog just standing on top of a mountain going like, Brrr, and summoning evil dead people and sometimes not evil dead people, just dead people in general, the dance for his music. And then he's got demons that are all like screwed up with like bird heads and weird naked bodies and just contorting and twisting and like renaissance visions of what demons look like and then eventually he's just kind of like oh no the sun Brr, and he curls up and this isn't the last we ever see of Chernabog if you've ever been to a Disney park um, I'm not really sure if it's uh, around the world but I know in at least Disney World and Disneyland they have a show called Phantasmic which is inspired by Fantasia oh my god circles within circles and Chernabog makes a reappearance there and that whole live-action show is nonsense because Mickey would not be able to take the might that is Chernabog. It doesn't make any sense. He is Satan. He lives on the top of a giant mountain. Mickey wouldn't stand a chance. Mickey wouldn't, like, I think it's Chernabog, Ursula, and Maleficent are the villains in Fantasmic. And Mickey supposedly takes out all three of them. I get it, he's filled with magic and he's Mickey and Mickey can't really lose, but if Mickey was actually up against a dragon, a sea witch, and the Satan of fucking Bald Mountain, he would lose. And he would lose bad. Because you cannot fight this level of evil. Chernabog is the ultimate, the coolest, and I love this dude. He's fucking radical. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Marvel Wars Movie Moment, where I professed my eternal love for the might that is Chernabog. If you haven't seen this moment, it's on Netflix. I highly encourage you to skip the majority of the movie and go straight to the end where Chernabog shows up in the last, like, ten minutes or so. It is so worth it. Have a good one, guys.